history was made today, not just sports history, but American history. A seven foot, 255 pound NBA player named Jason Collins surprised everybody by coming out of the closet in the pages of Sports Illustrated. Tonight, we follow his story and that of another pro athlete in the midst of his own radical transformation. Here's ABC's Amy Robach. No move on the court could have ever landed Jason Collins in the record books like the one he made today. The NBA veteran shocked the sports world by announcing he's gay, a bombshell first revealed in the pages of Sports Illustrated and in an exclusive interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos for tomorrow's Good Morning America. You know, I never set out to be the first, and it's, um, you know, I was, you know, you're sort of waiting around for somebody else to, you know, raise, your, raise, raise their hand and, you know, I'm ready to raise my hand, but, you know, you still look around like, okay, come on, guys. The revelation makes Collins the first active athlete to come out in the testosterone-charged world of professional sports. It's difficult, obviously. Robbie Rogers knows what it's like it's to sports. live in that world. You know, it's a stereotype that you're supposed to be this manly guy that, you know, is making tackles, that's beating up on other guys. And your yeah. parents and your friends and nobody knew? No, no, no. The last time Rogers walked on a soccer field, he too carried a secret he knew could destroy his chance to play the game that is his life. But like Jason Collins, Rogers decided he could no longer live the lie. Tonight, we'll be with Rogers on his very personal journey, with him as he goes home to see his family for the first time after revealing the secret he thought he would no, never share. Robbie Rogers has played on soccer fields around the world. College ball, major leagues, the Olympics. He was even good enough to go professional in England. You knew around the age of 10? I mean, I knew I was different when I was that age. I think I knew I was gay when I was about 14. He knew he had to hide those feelings if he ever wanted to pursue his dream. And by the time Rogers made it to the big leagues, he was living in constant fear. We're just having the feeling that I hope no one figures out I'm gay. If that happens that you can't play the sport that you love. Did you hear gay slurs in the locker room? Yeah, yeah, all the time. I mean, I heard gay slurs, you know, hanging out with my friends in high school in um, everywhere. That's what scars you. My biggest goal right now is to get to the World Cup. So he tried to keep up appearances, posting videos like this one on his YouTube channel. Uh, just cruising around. It's the first amazing day here in Columbus. Just a bunch of beautiful babes out and just awesome people everywhere. Hanging out with the guys, even dating hello. girls. What gave you the strength to say, I can't do this anymore? Yeah, I was raised to be a voice, to be myself, to be unique, not to follow a pack. And so beginning last fall, Robbie started coming out, first to his conservative Catholic family back in California. Since he was still living in England, he began telling them by email and over Skype. For most 25-year-olds, the drama of coming out might end there, but Robbie had another family to tell. Guys on your team are your best friends, your brothers, and you, you, know, you battle in these games and fight and you work hard and training for each other. If you're not the same as them, and you're an outcast. But he finally got the strength coming out to the entire soccer world in a letter he posted online. For the past 25 years, I've been afraid, afraid to show whom I really was because of fear, fear that judgment and rejection would hold me back from my dreams and aspirations. And with that, Robbie didn't just come out. He also walked away from professional soccer. He says after all those years of living in the shadows, he needed time to figure things out. And what was it like when your teammates found out, when your coaches found out? A lot of them I told. A lot of my teammates that I've been friends with, guys that um, I've grown up with and played soccer with in California or on the team, um, I told a lot of them. And what were their reactions? I mean, they were just, wait, so you're going to step away from soccer? <laughs> like, why? But while his teammates have all been supportive, those close to him had another concern. I believe it was your coach who said your teammates were great, but he did perhaps have concern about fans. I think especially in Europe, you know, they try to get on your skin. And I think if I go back, I'll have to be, you know, very mentally strong and worry about, you know, the actual sport. Reaction to Jason Collins' announcement today has also been mostly positive. Kobe Bryant tweeted, he's proud of Collins. Don't suffocate who you are because of the ignorance of others. But not everyone in professional sports has been as supportive. Mike Wallace of the Miami Dolphins tweeted that he doesn't understand all these beautiful women in the world and guys want to mess with other guys. 
The post was later removed. It's just the atmosphere of, of sports, you know, it's that, you know, macho, macho men mentality. But there have to be more male gay Oh, athletes. yes, yeah, of course. I mean, there's hundreds, thousands, I'm sure. When we met up with Robbie in New York, he was still on his journey. I'm heading back to L.A. today, so I'm excited to see my family for the first time in a year. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 2.30 New York time. I'm extremely tired, but also very happy to be back. Not too emotional. We'll see you when I get home when I see my mom. Usually I like feed off her, so hopefully she's too tired to be too emotional. <laughs> Oh my god. Good I see Sweetheart. It's been a long day. It was a time of sadness in a way to think that there had been something that um, my son suffered with maybe by himself. And then it was a great moment of joy to think that we were all together and that we could share it and that we could start something new. Exactly true. <laughs> yeah. What do you hope can change based on your announcement? Because right now, if you do go back and play, you would be the only openly gay male football or soccer player. Gay athletes are athletes. If I go back to soccer, I want to go back to soccer as, as Robbie, as a soccer player. I don't want to go back as this, uh, this gay athlete. I love the sport and uh, I love being an athlete, so I just want it to be that simple. For Nightline, I'm Amy Robach in New York.